Hello everyone, it's Janelle, and in today's video, we'll be making liquid Skittle nails with mirror powder and regular colored nail polish. We will also try holographic polish too, and we'll talk about how to layer top coats to make the mirror finish last. If you have not seen the last video, I bought some silver mirror powder that's recommended for UV gel polish only. I tested it out over black miracle gel without a lamp, because according to manufacturers, it looks best over a black or a chrome base. And we found out that yes, the mirror powder does work over non-UV gel polish, which is awesome. And we found out that normal top coat, even fast dry top coat, will pixelate the mirror finish of the powder as you can see here on the right. To fix that same nail, I added more mirror powder on top, and if you see closely here, there's a difference in contrast between the right and the left nails. The one with black underneath has a darker shadow than the one with silver. And this means A, mirror powder isn't completely opaque, and B, mirror powder can be layered over other colors for tons of colored mirror effects. To create a liquid Skittle look, I painted each nail a different color of the rainbow, and these are all regular non-UV polishes. One or two coats should be enough, and if it ends up patchy, it's okay because maybe only 30% of the color will show through the mirror coating. And to make sure that I have a smooth mirror finish, I'm adding a layer of top coat before I add the powder. Now after the top coat dries, we can add the powder over the colors. So right now it seems like the green layer underneath is completely covered up, but you'll see that after all the nails are powdered over, the color actually does come through. Now that is beautiful. To clean up the powder, you can add liquid latex or a nail barrier on the skin to pick up the mirror bits, or scrub them off with a nail corrector pen or a moistened q-tip. The top coat that I'm using to seal the powder is water-based because it won't crack the finish. But once that layer is dry, now you can use a regular top coat or fast drying top coat for a longer lasting mani. Water based nail polish doesn't typically last very long, so this seals everything in without marring the mirrored finish. As an added bonus test, I wanted to see how the mirror powder would look over holographic polish. And now that we've added the powder, it just looks like regular mirror polish. No big change right now. The bluish hollow does kind of show through though. But in direct sunlight, you can see more of the hollow underneath. Here's a comparison of the hollow by itself versus hollow and mirror powder. So tell me what you think. Do you like the hybrid effect? I'm kind of torn. I think I like hollow and mirror effects on their own. But what do you think? To conclude this powder video, the biggest issue with mirror powder is the top coat. Regular top coat will make it pixelated and crack it, and no, you can't mix the powder with clear polish to get the same effect. As of right now, the only ways to seal that shiny reflection that I know of is water-based top coat, then add regular top coat on that. Or you can do it by the books and use UV polish. If you have any suggestions or ideas, help me and the rest of the nail community out by commenting below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.